Alright guys, welcome back to another video of KingX.X Coming to you guys with a brand new video And today in this video, I'm super excited to talk about a few changes That are coming to Call of Duty World War 2 in the very near future And possibly even later on this year as well Because Sledgehammer Games has posted their latest community update for Call of Duty World War 2 Which I'm pretty sure you guys already know that they make these like weekly updates Pretty much to let you guys know what they're actually looking into fixing or possibly just things that they're looking into do and they finally posted it today i'll actually leave a link down below if you guys do want to go check it out yourself i will put it on screen in a few seconds because they have a domination xl coming at the end of march new holiday event and also paint shops are coming very soon i'm super excited about the paint shops part but in a few seconds you guys will actually see a picture on screen it'll be there for a few seconds so i would definitely pause the video or go back into the video later on those are pretty much what they're going to be changing and actually adding or fixing which i'll read them out later on and this is a picture of some of the paint shops that players can actually make as i said i will talk about all of that stuff later on so let's just get into it. So, as I said in this update, Sledgehammer Games talks about Domination XL, Heroic Weapon Bribes, Paint Shop, and more. Now, the first thing is leaderboards not updating. Sledgehammer Games recently pushed through a fix for leaderboards not updating. So they're kind of looking into the leaderboards because apparently it's just not working exactly. So it's pretty cool that that will actually be fixed for players who really care about leaderboards, which I really don't. But, you know, that's all for anybody, you know, if anybody wants to know what their ranking in the world is, I guess you could check it out. I mean, if you're not really ranked, like, super high, like, prestige master, almost like level 600, you're probably not that high in the world. But we also have Domination XL. Sledgehammer Games plans to roll out Domination XL at the end of March after a special upcoming holiday event. More details on the event are coming soon, so that's pretty cool as well. And I feel like I have an idea for what this new event will be because I'm not mistaken there was some type of uh, some type of like update in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. I think it was like a St. Patrick's Day update. I'm not exactly sure when St. Patrick's Day is, but I'm pretty sure that is coming up very soon and I don't know any other holidays that are coming very soon or anytime in like the near future so i could definitely see something like that happening because this probably was around the time that modern warfare master was getting heard about that they're having this update as well so hopefully they do something for saint patrick's day if not maybe it might even be easter because i know that's coming up in a month so i definitely could see something for that as well and we also have heroic weapon bribe the past week a heroic weapon bribe special order went live in game however the bribe was not working as intended being dupe protected so, Sledgehammer Games pretty much removed the bribe for now, and it will be coming back pretty much shortly. Who knows exactly when, but whenever that happens, I will definitely let you guys know, just so they can bring it back, and if you guys actually want to grind for that, then you definitely can. I don't know if I should actually cancel my bribe, because I still haven't played the 100 matches, obviously, and I still have it, so I'm not sure if I should really get rid of it. But then again, I don't really got that many dupe or not really that many heroic weapons in the game anyways so chances are i'm probably getting something new either way and i might even have a chance of getting a second one possibly which would be pretty cool now if i could just grind out 100 matches which that's a lot now we have hardcore team killing and ricochet sledgehammer games will run a separate hardcore playlist with ricochet so that when you shoot a teammate you take damage instead of them this will be available after starting march 9th so if you guys actually play hardcore that's a good thing for you because let's say you don't want to get killed by your teammate well pretty much that's kind of getting rid of because instead of you taking damage and dying the person shooting you is actually going to take damage and possibly if they shoot too much they will die and the very last one is paint shop the testing has taken longer than we initially anticipated sledgehammer games says that they shouldn't have mentioned timing before we were ready no final date has been determined yet and as i said i showed a picture earlier on the video and it was pretty much three simple designs that they actually made now the thing i wish that it would do was cover more of the weapon honestly because in black ops 3 it really did not cover that much so i would love to see a lot of these weapons actually have the ability to get painted on pretty much almost every part of it literally and get covered but i'm super excited about it because who knows exactly when it's coming 
but I definitely made a few videos in Black Ops 3 on paint chops. I actually really liked it a lot because during Black Ops 3, I really was a big fan of the Aqua Camo from Black Ops 2, which it was a camo that you were able to buy back then when camos were actually a thing because now you literally get them from supply drops in recent games or you have to pretty much just unlock them, which is kind of like standard. But I definitely want to make myself a aqua camo for sure maybe even red tiger blue tiger you know some iconic camos from black Ops for not black ops 2 from modern warfare 2 maybe even the red tiger and blue tiger from modern warfare 3 who knows all i know is i'm super excited because this actually gives us the ability to make some pretty cool camos and it actually gives me the option to make more youtube videos because i will definitely be bringing you guys videos of me using the paint shop because the tutorials back then were doing actually really well Literally almost every single video I uploaded got like over 500 to 800, maybe even a thousand views at the time. So that was pretty cool. But if you guys did like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you guys do want to see next. I will post more videos in the future. And let me know what you guys' thoughts on this. Are you guys hyped about paint shops coming at some point in the near future? Let me know in the comments down below.